In that case, Mr. Raju Rastogi. Yes, sir. Can you tell us how an induction motor starts? Stop it! Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Today we are going to learn about how induction motor starts or how induction motor works. So, in this topic. Uh, we will learn about the definition of induction motor, the construction of induction motor, working principle of induction motor and its operation or working. The induction motor as we know is an AC motor and in this motor the rotating magnetic field actually creates a torque in a router and there is a no electrical linkage between rotating magnetic field and the router. So this motor works on the uh, you can say a mutual induction that's why this motor is known as induction motor now let's see we will uh, learn about its construction there is a induction motor and its main part is stator so there is a stator it is made up of soft iron and uh, its coils which are known as stator coils and these are the uh, stator coil windings you can say uh, we have to provide the AC voltage to, to these coils and uh, these AC voltage actually produces a rotating magnetic field that is a router uh, which rotates inside the stator coils with the effect of rotating magnetic field and how the rotating magnetic field is created I have already made a video on rotating magnetic field there is a link in the description you can go and watch the video of rotating magnetic field so here we are going to learn about the induction motor it is a construction of uh, uh, induction motor it is a router and inside the router there are the aluminium or you can say a copper rods and they are connected to each other in such a way that they make a cage and this cage is known as a squirrel cage that's why the router of induction motor is known as a squirrel cage router and a squirrel cage you can see in the picture that is the some special type of cage which is used to hold the squirrel so these are the rods uh, which are connected with the rings at the both end and these rings actually make an electrical circuit a closed circuit in which the current will flow and this whole arrangement is covered with a soft iron now, whenever the AC current is provided uh, to the stator winding it creates a magnetic field and actually we are going to supply the AC current so the field it which is produced it will be a rotating magnetic field and I have already told you video on the rotating magnetic field uh, is already made so you can watch the video of rotating magnetic field from the description so whenever the rotating magnetic field start to rotate so this rotating magnetic field or moving magnetic field produce a Faraday's law. Now Faraday's law states that whenever the magnet moves or magnetic field moves around the conductor the voltage are induced in the conductor. Now magnetic field is rotating and uh, the voltage will be induced in the copper rods as per Faraday's law and because the copper rods are connected to ring at each end so current starts to flow and whenever current starts to flow it produces its own magnetic field. Now there are two type of magnetic fields, one is rotating outside the router and one magnetic field is inside the router rods. Now there is the application of Lenz law and Lenz law states that whenever the voltage is produced, this voltage opposes its causes. Now what is the cause? The cause is rotating magnetic field. So the router field will oppose the rotating magnetic field and in such a way whenever the north pole will come closer to the rod this rod will produce a magnetic field which actually try to oppose this north pole so there is the application of lens law whenever this north pole uh, will cross the area you can see there so it will produce the north pole here and this will oppose this north pole and whenever this north pole is leaving that area this particular area will create the south pole and it will try to oppose the movement of 
is north pole let's see in this animation now there is a north pole and now it is become the south and it will attract this north pole because the field is rotating continuously so this router start to rotate behind the field you can see here just like this and the speed of rotating field is high so the router speed is less than the rotating magnetic field so that is the working principle of induction motor that rotating magnetic field actually causes uh, the rotation of a router so you can see there is application of lens law and due to lens law the router is start to rotates behind the rotating magnetic field and remember the speed of rotating magnetic field is higher than the speed of a router Here is another animation of induction motor in which the rotating magnetic field is, is moving very fast and with the effect of the rotating magnetic field the router is also running behind the rotating magnetic field. So that was all about the induction motor. If you like the video subscribe the channel share the video like the video thank you very much.